lot of people ask me where the words come from. When I'm writing the words, that's not really my voice that's saying those. It's things. like somebody inside me who has a different outlook and a different voice. It's, it's like an act, like I'm inhabiting a character, somebody who makes it easier for me to say things in a certain way and get things off my mind. But it's not really me. I mean, it is. <laughs> Maybe it is, I don't know. I suppose we should start at the beginning, which would be art school. It went fine for the first couple of years, and then I started putting words in my paintings, and that really didn't go down very well. But I figured if I was annoying people, I must be doing something right. The reason I went to art school in the first place was punk rock. When I was 16, I went to see the Rosillos, and I was just blown away by the whole thing. Messy and homemade. I love that whole attitude of just not giving a fuck. You were just making music or art with whatever you happened to have lying around. And I think that attitude has influenced me ever since. To me, a lot of my work is actually about happiness, the pursuit of happiness how people are so intent on pursuing happiness that they lose the ability to just be happy with where they are. Why does everyone have to be fucking happy all the time? I mean, it's just stupid. Buying into the idea that you need to be perpetually happy is pretty much guaranteed to make you miserable. When I look at modern life, I mostly just find it absurd. The things that we do every day. Working all the time to pay for a house that you don't get enough time to live in because you're out there earning money to pay for your house. The whole thing just seems ridiculous. I don't feel like I'm some special sort of person. I feel that I'm very lucky to have this ability to put words and pictures together in a way that creates something that's hopefully funny and maybe a little bit thought-provoking. When I start a piece, I don't usually have a plan. I'll just start drawing something. I don't want to go to art school. The words are usually a separate part of the process. I've got sketchbooks full of phrases and ideas that I've written down. It's the combination of the words and the pictures that give these pieces their actual meaning. But the part that I actually enjoy the most is creating the images. I love the drawing and just making marks, but often when I finish the drawings, they annoy me because they're just too nice. It's like I've spent hours on it, but it's just too well done. So I need to find a way to mess it up and make it into something that I actually like. That usually involves scribbling on it or dripping paint on it or ripping it and gluing it onto something. And then, finally, I write on it, which for me is what gives it its meaning. Sometimes I wish I could just do a straightforward drawing and be happy with it. I don't think you really get to choose those things. You kind of are who you are and you make what you make. So the words on this one say, why do you all run like that? We run because we cannot afford to purchase bicycles. A fact that we have no wish to be reminded of by your relentless and insensitive questioning. <laughs> <laughs> that made me feel really good because like, the, the, the runners just really annoy me. Why? Because there's that whole sort of smug, look at me, I'm exercising. And you know that it's, it's just miserable. There's that kind of vanity thing to it. It's like they're kind of doing it just because they feel like they need to be fit and healthy. And it's just like, what a fucking waste of time. Get a bicycle, it's much more fun. If I'm being honest, I really just make most of this stuff for my own amusement. I mean, it helps me make some kind of sense of the world and maintain some form of sanity, whatever that means. I suppose if there has to be a point to it all, then I hope that the humour can maybe help people 
to be a bit more accepting and forgiving of our shared human flaws and our fallibility. And maybe finding some humour in that can help us cope with the utter ridiculousness of everyday existence. At the end of the day, it makes me happy. And hopefully it makes you happy too. I don't want to go to art school, art school. I don't want to go to art school.